Hey everyone, Chills for Beauty here. Today I have some fun nail art for you. I wanted to create something that everyone could try out regardless if you're a beginner to stamping or you're advanced at the technique. If you like any of the products I'm using today, I'll have the links in the description box down below. You can also use my code CHILLS10 to get 10% off your next purchase at manylng.com. This code works on everything except the Manny by Me subscription box. So let's get started. All right, so I use Polish M Countdown to Candy. This is a two to three coater, depending on how you use it. Um, unfortunately, this is no longer available. You might be able to find this in like a B stash on like the Facebook groups that are out there. Um, however, I did use this because I love this look. It does remind me of like, kind of like candy corn. So I use this on my ring, uh, finger, my pinky, and also my thumb. I just felt like it gave like a right amount of little pop. And then I added a top coat this was pretty smooth, so I didn't actually have to add a glitter, a glitter eating top coat to this. And then for my middle finger, I used the Olive Ave Polish Bengal Spice. This is really beautiful. I love this. If you can get your hands on this, I really think you should. This has like a little bit of like this little pink shimmer, if I'm correct, that is in here. However, this is like a one coater, but I, you know, I love two coats really smooth application, no problems. So the plate that I'll be using today is gonna to be the M158 Bad to the Bone by Maniology. This is a fantastic beginner plate because it has so much that you can do with this. The small images, big images, it's, it's absolutely perfect. So back to my tried and true, my straight up black. It's an absolute staple, it's a must. I went after one of these little pumpkin faces that I wanted to put on my middle finger. So I basically lather on the stamping polish, make sure that I'm gonna scrape it a few times, get a good scrape. And then from there, I roll the stamp as usual, get ready to place it, and then I squish. Then on my ring finger, I chose Linen by Cirque Colors. This is a three to four coater because this is a sheer white polish, off-white. I didn't want something so stark, so I went with this and um, I'm actually really happy with it because I really wanted the stamping colors to actually pop off of this. And then I use my cuticula nail tape. This does contain latex. This is my liquid latex that you can see. I just kind of like quickly put around my finger because this is gonna be full image stamping that I'm gonna do. And I do not wanna do a ton of cleanup after this. And then I'm gonna to blend two colors together. That's gonna be orange burst as you can see here. And then electronica. Unfortunately, electronica is not available, but I will put another type of yellow down in the description box below. I'm going to then basically blend these colors together. So I'm gonna first dab down the orange and then I'm gonna put down the yellow and then I scrape to kind of do this blending technique that I want and then I'm gonna roll the stamp over it and then from there, I then place my image down on my finger. As you can see, liquid latex is helping out with that cleanup. So I'm going after this trick or treat image as you can see here, I'm using straight up black. I'm gonna actually layer this over the previous stamp that I just did. So from there, I just basically load up the plate, scrape, and then I'm gonna roll it again. And then that's where I'm gonna go ahead and just place this right on top because I want this to pop. And then I used my smudge free top coat by Maniology um, because of course I don't wanna ruin my stamping that I just did and spent all this time on. So I went ahead and I just basically layered this on top before I put my finished top coat down. So after my smudge free top coat is dried, I'm gonna go in with my regular top coat, which is my Super Chic Lacquers Liquid Macro Top Quick Drying Top Coat. Sorry, it's so complicated to say, but I go in, wait for that to dry, and then it's finished. Did you like this mani? Are you going to recreate it? Let me know down below. I would love to see your responses. Plus, give this video a like, and if you enjoy the content, think about joining the Chills crew if you haven't already. If you're new, I have some playlists you can check out at the end of the video. Take care, stay chilly, and happy Halloween.